This video is brought to you by Hoodbeast.com. Design your own custom hoodies. Hoodbeast.com. <laughs> What's going on guys? It's Dramon. I know I've been gone, but now I'm back and today we're going to be talking about the top five sneakers worn yesterday on Martin Luther King Day. But if we're being completely honest, it's really this past weekend since a lot of the guys around the league didn't have the opportunity to play on MLK Day, but they still honored Martin Luther King as well as equality through sneakers in their own way. So we will be counting those ones as well. So now that you got it, let's go get it. Starting up the list at number five, we have Donovan Mitchell with this custom colorway of the Adidas Day. Dame 4. Now not only is the Dame 4 one of the best encore performers of this year, but Donovan Mitchell looks like the absolute steal of the 2017 NBA Draft, and he comes correct here with this custom colorway of the Dame 4. Now not only is this colorway clean in its own right with the blue upper, white midsole, gray outsole, and bronze collar area, but you also have some nice custom features like the black power fist on the toe box, MLK's initials on the lacing system, as well as the title of the famous speech given by Martin Luther King, I Have a Dream located on the lateral side of the upper. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I actually had the Jazz making the playoffs this year. It's not looking so great right now, but I wanna hear from you guys. Do you think the Jazz will make the playoffs? Let me know in the comment section below. Next up at number four, we have Kevin Durant with the Black History Month colorway of the Nike KD10. My favorite part of this colorway has got to be the laces because they just scream out Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. But I'm also enjoying the metallic gold hits on the branding as well as the color blocking on the midsole. Another small detail that I'd like to point out is the date located right below the Nike swoosh. This marks the date Kevin Durant gave his MVP speech where he also preached about equality, which is really the entire theme behind Nike's Black History Month collection this year. Coming in at number three, we have Carl Anthony Towns with this custom colorway of the Nike Hyperdunk 2016. Now it looks like Cat much rather wear last year's version of the Hyperdunk line as opposed to this year's version, which introduced React Foam to the hardwood. Maybe he prefers Zoom over React Foam. I'm really not too sure that that's just speculation. What I am sure about is this custom colorway because it's an absolute banger. Using a triple black colorway as the base of this custom, Carl Anthony Towns had Martin Luther King's face spray painted on the collar area, as well as the words, I have a dream run across the lateral side of the shoe with MLK Day topping it all off on the toe box. And overall, this is just a well-made custom that definitely honors the greatness of Martin Luther King in a great way. And I love to see more customs just like this, allowed by the NBA for everyday use, not just Martin Luther King Day. Next up at number two, we have Paul George with the Black History Month colorway of the Nike PG-1. Now, ever since Paul George went over to Oklahoma City, Nike has been absolutely lacing PG-13 up with dope PEs. And this one has got to rank near the top because Nike really did it, guys. They just straight put a Gucci belt on the strap of the PG-1. Now, all jokes aside, this is still a very clean colorway for what it is. Obviously, you have a white base with a slightly blue tinted translucent outsole, black hits on the Nike swoosh as well as the inner booty, and metallic gold hits on the branding. But my favorite part has got to be the speckling on the midsole, which goes from red to green. I would have liked to seen a little less speckling there. It looks a little clustered and chaotic, but like Pac said, I am mad at you. Finally, at number one, we have the Black History Month colorway of the Nike Kyrie 4, worn here by Jared Allen. Now, Uncle Drew was overseas in London playing a game for the NBA, so he couldn't play on Martin Luther King Day, but Jared Allen, as well as a couple of others, rocked his signature sneaker in amazing fashion with this Black History Month colorway. Now, obviously, you have the same white, black, green, and red color scheme that this year's Black History Month collection is based off, but the best feature, hands down, has got to be the word equality scattered all across of the upper. I just love how equality not just as a word, but as a belief, as a way of life, take center stage not just on this colorway of the Kyrie 4, but many other silhouettes as well throughout Nike's Black History Month collection this year. So I want to give this swoosh a huge shout out for really bringing home that message because now more than ever in the current world we live in, in the current political climate, all these crazy things going on, we need equality now more than ever. So hopefully you'll join me as well as many others to make equality not something we strive for, but the standard all human beings should live by. Anyways, guys, that pretty much takes care of the top five kicks worn on Martin Luther King Day and this past weekend. Hopefully you enjoyed the list. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. Subscribe to this channel for more great content just like this. My name's Jaren. It's been great having you. Catch you in the next one. Peace.
specifically the Nike Elite Quick Crew socks, where we will be covering four aspects of these socks. And those four things are fit, comfort, durability, and value, or in other words, are they worth it? So let's get things started. The first thing we're gonna talk about is the fit. 